Because the focus of this class will be on I.O., let's look, let's overview the type of I.O. on our TM4C123. We have a Cortex M4 processor, okay? uh, and we have RAM. And on another bus, we have ROM. But let's look at the I.O. devices. The Cortex-M has ports, and they're labeled port A, port B, port C, port D. There's a lot of them. It's really important. Port E and Port F. Okay, and the idea of a port, and again, they're all connected up here on the system bus, so that the processor, the your programs, can access these ports. And each of these ports have pins. Like Port A has got eight pins: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Port B has got eight, and we'll draw it this way, a little bit quicker. Port E has six. Port F has five. Port D has eight. And Port C is special. Uh, we're going to have access to four. Let me be the first to tell you to not t attach to PC3, PC2. PC1 and PC0, those we're going to reserve for our debugger. So don't touch those. Leave those alone. You'll be happier. Okay. Let's look at the types of I.O. we have. We have parallel, which means that all at once we can set all six bits of these uh, port E all at once. Then we have serial I.O. and we'll see a couple of types of serial I.O. and this allows us to send one bit at a time. I'll make the analogy of how do you send Morse code. Right? You've all played this game before. Long, 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 pause, short, 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 pause, long, long, long. That is code for SOS, save our ship. So serial I.O. will be used to communicate with other devices or other computers. Very important for communication. We have other types of I.O. We have analog I.O. Analog I.O. can be either an input to measure what goes on in the external world, or it could be an output to generate signals like sound or motion. And the third very important type of I.O. that we will do is time. Time can be measured as an input and time can also be produced as an output to generate pulses and signals. So time, as we saw, is an important aspect of embedded systems and therefore an important aspect of the I.O. that we will produce. Okay, now what I want to do is to focus on this part. This is a microcontroller. because it contains an entire computer including the I.O. including the pins for the I.O. and let me show you the one we're going to use in this class alright I'd like to show you the microcontroller we're going to use in this class this big chip here in the center of this board is the TM4C123 and it is a microcontroller the pins that I described in the previous slide are those wires coming out of this chip. 
So this is the microcontroller and this is a board which we will use to develop code for that microcontroller.